So now we've nearly completed our creation of our Thiessen polygons. We're going to look at step four, which is creating what's called a Voronoi diagram, which is essentially finishing the Thiessen polygons. So here I have now identified the orthocenters for each of the 12 triangles, each of my 12 Delaunay triangles. And you can see 11 of the orthocenters are here on the page, and one of the orthocenters is off the page here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide this area, this space, into polygons, into regions. And if you remember, one of the properties of our bisectors here, are these bisection points, is that it split the distance between, made the distance that it was equal in between two points, like the 4.66 here and the 6.01 which means all the territory that's in this area, all the area that's near this 4.66 on this side of this bisector is closer to the 4.66 than it is to the 6.01. Well, I'm going to go ahead and connect orthocenters. In this case, I'm going to connect orthocenters along this line through that particular point there, okay? and I'm establishing the territory that belongs to the 4.66. For this particular point here, I can see there's a dividing line between the 3.86 and the 4.66. There's nothing to connect to here, but I do know that there's that bisecting line that's going to go ahead and extend off the page. Similarly, over here, the dividing line between the 4.66 and the 5.37 is this line here, okay? but I'm going to take the extension of that line and extend it off the page. And now I've created the territory for 4.66, or the beginning of a Thiessen polygon. Notice, if I consider that same idea, I'm going to continue to draw around and let's claim the territory that's associated with this 6.01 value. And we do that simply by connecting the orthocenters through the extensions of those bisectors. I see the same thing if I follow these connections. I now have established territory associated with this value 5.06, a polygon associated with 4.39. If I connect the invisible orthocenter here by extending those lines, I've created polygons for 5.37 and 4.67. Similarly, extending lines for each of those. And if I see here, there's a perpendicular bisector that I haven't extended, but I will go ahead and extend that out there. And now I have divided my region into a series of Thiessen polygons. Each of these polygons is what we consider to be a Thiessen polygon. The entire process is called a Voronoi diagram.